You know what it is, it's your boy Keegan De Niro, I'm here at Royalty Radio. You can get at me at uh, NMG Keegan De Niro from my Twitter. You can holler at me on Facebook, Keegan De Niro. You know what it is, D-A, Bosch, You better get that volume up, bitch. Offense, bitch. Royalty Radio, man. DJ and I'm five other ones and twos making it do what it do, man. Man of the moment, Keegan De Niro's in the building from New Money Gang, what's good? What's going on? Royalty yes, Radio, Toronto. Yes, 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 welcome, how you doing? I'm good, I'm just pulling out. Yes, yes, for sure, for sure, for sure. Jumping straight into it, man, your name is Keegan De Niro, where did that name come from? Man? To be honest with you, Keegan De Niro was like a, a new thing I did maybe like three, four years ago. I used to call myself K-Double okay. when I was with YBE, yeah. and it was just something that like, I don't know, I grew out of it, I thought the name was Juvenile, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. I like my real name too, you know what I mean? I'm from That's the fucking Y, you know what I mean? Why fake it? For sure. It's in your just doing it, because you know what I mean? For that love of money, obviously. <laughs> of course, the one fact that not too many people know is that you're Blake Harrington's younger brother. Yeah, that's my older brother. Now, of course, what was Blood it brother. like growing up with him? Well, you know, for Blake, he's a big shadow to stand on, you know, he casts a big shadow, you know what I mean? So, like, to be yourself is, is a little hard, but you know what I mean? I'm just me, you know what I mean? The difference is me and Blake were really alike, but we're very different at the same time, you know what I mean? We're different people, so. For sure, for sure. Of course, earlier you were also speaking about uh, why we young black entrepreneurs because the group of you, Blake, and our cousin Bill. Yeah, you were there. You were know? Most definitely now. Um, did you guys draw the inspiration for the song Why Be You from uh, Prodigy and BG? No, not really. Oh, I mean, we, like we, yo, the, the idea of it kind of came to it like, yeah. We heard it and we were like, yeah, yeah. but it was more like Blake was pushing it on us. He's like, yo, man, you know what I mean? We gotta, we gotta promote something positive out here, you know yeah. what I mean? Young black entrepreneurs, I ain't just no drug dealer. He was like, yo, fuck it. I run with it, nigga. Why be you, nigga? I'm on you. I'm on you too, nigga. Most definitely, man. Yeah, so, like, what was the whole concept behind Why Be initially on this thing? Um, just young black dudes trying to make it, you know, we were just trying to make a difference to do something different, you know, for sure, for sure. trying to establish ourselves as like, music instead of like, a lot of negative ways we could have been in the streets, you know, most definitely, you know, now I got to a point where everybody did end up going their separate ways and you were on your own a bit, um, what was the reason for the split, you uh, just, Everybody had their own stuff, like real life stuff to do, you know what I mean? Like, it's hard when, you know what I mean? It's hard enough being one artist, right. having to deal with real life and depend on, you know what I mean? Because you can't depend on people, right. simply as that. Right. And it's hard enough to depend on somebody when you got, when he's got real shit, he's got to deal with for himself. Right. You can't tell a nigga, oh man, you know, you know, we supposed to be doing this right now, and then it, nigga, I got shit to do. Yeah. What you gonna tell me? Yeah. You gonna pay my bills? You know what I mean? Life's life. For sure. Yeah. So, and of course, you also became uh, a member of the New Money Gang. Yes, yes. Now, what was it that made you want to join the New Money Gang? Well, New Money was my dude safe right here, okay. and the boss Cleezy himself. Cleezy right. done. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's doing his own thing right now, but. Syph was like, I know Syph when I was in like high school and stuff, you know what I mean? Syph was coming through, Syph came out, fresh came out of jail and he was like, on the music came hard, man. Yeah. Rapping every day, we were going to the studio just recording tracks like here and there at my dude's house in the basement. Yeah. Then after it was just like, you know, I seen the movement was moving, me and Syph was pushing music, we was just like, fuck it, I'm down with new money, man. It is new money, that's what we do. doing. Sure. It's like, money. who are the members of new money? New money right now is me. My dude Saif, you know what I mean? Patchy Pacino, you know what I mean? And my dude Littles. Yeah, he right. all down for us. In terms of Littles, man, he's you know co-signing it hard. Oh yeah. So, and how's his affiliation with the group you know, help you guys? It's honestly, I mean we were working regardless, but I mean, to be honest with you, there's no denying his presence. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's helped us get in the state of mind where we need to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's helped us really notice what we can do out here yeah. and giving us a lot of opportunities. Like this opportunity right here, I probably would have never went on much music in itself yeah. had he not been in my ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this dude told me to do it too. I told these things. You know I mean? I'm, I'm not going on TV to go, but it was it was a good opportunity and it was a good experience and I'm glad I did it and I'm here now. And, that's what it is. You know, he's a good dude. I, I really, ex I really appreciate everything he's done for me. He's a good dude. I take him like, you know what I mean? I take it to the heart. He's like my brother. You know what I'm saying? Yes. 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 Since you've been a rap city, rap city, right? And yeah. and now you see a rap city. It's gone more into a battle. Oh yeah. How do you feel about that? 
Well, it should have kind of been like that in the first place. <laughs> I'm just saying. Not to say, not, 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 I'm not throwing no jabs at nothing. I'm just saying in general. It's a battle, you know what I mean? I figured that's what it is. You know what I mean? I'm not saying when I went there I was on a battle. Like the state of mind. Yeah, it clearly wasn't. But, um, like, real shit. It should have been some, like, you know what I mean? Niggas going at each other, talking about your mama, your shoes, and all of that, you know what yeah. I mean? But, you know, whatever. You, you know what? It's Toronto, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay, hold on, but, but if you can White boy back, came in, get your own. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you come in there talking <laughs> good shit. <laughs> You're not a chef, the only one is Rayquan. <laughs> you know what I mean? That <laughs> goes in though. You go you, yo, you got some lines though, you know what I mean? If you could go back on it though, like, would you go back? No. No? Yeah. Definitely not. <laughs> Keep it 100. <laughs> not doing it again for no faulty judges or no. Uh, yeah. I'm not doing it for no like you know what I mean. Get the white boy dissing me. You know I mean, kid strong, get under your skin. Yelling at you, vein busting in his neck. <laughs> not after. Oh, you got a mixtape called Techno or Die, yes, which is all over the electronic you know, production and stuff like that. Why did you choose to get you know take that path? And what was it that inspired you about that? Honestly, I, I was like sick of the music. Like honestly, that music, I, there was a point where it didn't really bother me. Right. But then after like, I was just sitting down with Littles. And Littles was talking mad shit. Like, yo, we should do a techno album. Just throw it out there and fuck with the white people and see how they react to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? We were sitting down talking shit. And DJ Loki hollered at me. DJ Loki was like, you know what, if you guys are gonna do it, I'll send the beats. Yeah. I'm like, whatever, send the beats. I mean, thinking whatever. He sent the beats, something like, oh, I'm not even gonna like this shit. Yeah. I sat there listening to it for the night. Start getting the <laughs> I mean, in the night at the Roxbury started happening, the glow stick started popping. You know what I mean? And the music yeah. started playing, and I was inspired. And the music just, honestly, it just came up with itself. To be honest with you, it just came up with itself. I did like three tracks one night after that, and it was like, got more beats, crushed those, and just, it was a process. Of How was it being a part of? Perfect Strangers, because like you're on a few records and whatnot, like, how was it being a part of that? Perfect Strangers came together faster than you guys would believe it if you wanted to hear that. Cause, but the truth is, like, it's a, it's a, I, f I feel like personally, it's a huge mixtape. Mm -hmm. you know? Especially for Slice's first mixtape, it's huge, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, and just to be on it is a blessing, because you know, like, I know it's a good time for him in his life, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's a first step for him, and for the same ways for him, it's a first step for new money and us, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm just grateful, you know what I mean? I'm grateful yeah. to be a part of that. He was on a lot of songs, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 And actually, cut me off your face. He was on a lot of songs. We actually had to cut him off. So. <laughs> <laughs> really, you know, real talk. Like, real shit. Because, like, it was going to be a key insight. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, you got you to gotta understand, these guys are in the studio going off. Yeah, yeah, and I'm there, you know what I mean? Let me hop on that, let me do that. There's no way I'm not. But he, yeah, definitely. We have a lot of socks to get. Uh, royalty! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your girl, vroom, vroom. She said he tryna come and play me, though. He can be on freestyling on that royalty radio. Me and JD ever, yeah. Been this sick forever, uh. You cannot play with us, cause the flow is also oh clever. And you know I'm getting better. New money getting cheddar. And if you want the beef, I'm gonna grab the chrome beretta. And Oxy got the undone, and trust me, you don't wetter. He'll leave two holes inside you like a second fucking letter. You don't want it, cause I'm better. And you know I be hotter. I'll shoot your pussy ass in your medulla. I'll run got to. And I be rolling with my boys, you know that I'm a shatter. I got it since a youngin', yeah, I grew up with my papa. My nigga Chris, he a rough rider, rider. If I see your girlfriend, I'm a rider, pider. Trust me, she a diva, she a deep sea diver. Hit it with the two bitches, then I'm gon' slide her. Like a playground, you know I stay down. And bunch of goonies and killers is who I stay around. So it be NMG to the fucking death of me. Cooking in the game, nigga, all I need is the recipe. Uh, if there was one song that you know you feel that you vibe with more than any other song out there, in terms of artists, any song that you've listened to, like new or old, new or old, it doesn't matter. Just one song that you feel relates to you the most. I don't know. I get high. I get high. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you know, I like a lot of music. I like I like a lot of songs. It's hard to just pinpoint one, you know what okay. I mean? Okay, okay. Outside of rap though, do you have any other influences outside of rap? Like in terms of uh, 
R&B, you know. Yo, uh, a lot of people gonna look at me funny because of this, but yo, you ever heard of the Gorillas? Yes. yes. Yeah, those dudes are nice. Yeah, they're Ill, I like them, like, they got doing like electro kind of sound, but right. it's still a hip-hop bass. Yeah. I don't know, I feel it. I like it. I, it's groovy. I feel it.